This is Richard Fowler. I'm John Kilpatrick with Oklahoma Keto, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And what we're doing here, what we've been doing the last couple of videos, and we'll continue this for a while, is showing a very simple series of movements that form a really solid basis for your Aikido. And when somebody's attacks come really fast, and even when we're at our normal Aikido distance where we're at, where our weapons don't touch, so we, you know, even when we're at this distance, you're, you can cover that distance in an attack with blinding speed. So your hands have to start up and when, whatever you start doing, you're pretty much committed to doing. There's no time to change your mind. And if your partner attacks you from a shomenuchi kind of position, you know, it can be shomenuchi, uh, yokomenuchi, do, it can be ski, it can be asha, it can be anything. And so you've got to have a set of really simple moves that defend you against anything. So we're going through some of this. And so as we've done this, you know, we keep learning and changing, which makes a problem doing videos because we do a video and then the next couple of practices we figure out a way to do it better. <laughs> but so there are a couple of things that we've realized. And one of the things, we've modified our technique some. And so one of the things, I've been going from eye to eye with this reflex control and so we were talking about it the other day, and I said, well, when O-sensei does this, he comes up here with shomenuchi, and this is just a shomenuchi. Well, it's probably better to think about it in a classical Aikido way, where you're just bringing this up here and then cutting into his head, which is just shomenuchi. And the other thing we realized is uh, for the movement that we're going to do today, he's attacking with Yokoman. Now here's my control. See, here's my Shomanuchi. And then I'm dropping in here. Well, if I were doing a Rimi Nagi, I'd come around like this. But what we're doing is a showman ski. So we're just coming up and stabbing him. We're coming up and hitting him in the face. But we're coming straight into the front of his face with this movement. So you can think of what we're doing as knife attacks and then we're going to get rid of the knife and do it empty hand. So this is what we're doing. So if I'm doing this empty hand and so I'm starting off, here's my visual control, all he sees is this coming in his face. He doesn't see me coming in really. And so it's hard for him to adjust for it. And then I can't have this arm up here. If I have it up here, he can drop under it and gut me. And so I have to, and I also can't be out here either because then I'm easy to cut. So I have to drop this and change hands. Also, Putting this hand here keeps my face from colliding with his face. But I have to be that close. If I stay out here, I get hit. So I have to be close enough that I would headbutt him if I didn't put my hand here. And then we'll just push through this for the throw. So from here, if he's coming, the throw looks like that. Uh, and we'll turn around, and so if I'm here, and uh, we're doing this slowly now, but this also, we've done this full speed, and you can still pull it off, and because you're always doing the same simple movement. This works, say, if he does ski, See, I come in here, and I can do this same movement. And it's the same pivot. See, I'm pivoting here, and hitting, and then just driving through here. 
Uh, it works for any attack that you would do from here. Uh, again, the critical points, let's change around. Critical points. When I start here, this is Shomanuchi. I have to have a good pivot. I have to come in deep. And this is a ski, a stabbing movement. And for us, it's going to go over his head and become a throw. 